Hey everyone, my name is Spencer and welcome home. Welcome home? Welcome home! Welcome back to my channel. I am really excited about today's video. Today I am turning my phone case into a Sheikah Slate. The one that Link has in Breath of the Wild because I am absolute trash for anything Legend of Zelda in case you haven't noticed already that I am. I am. And I am particular trash for Breath of the Wild. So I love it. It's a great game. Since my bullet journal set up in my last video, I have actually completed the game. I haven't restarted it to do everything all over again, but you know, baby steps. <laughs> I don't want to lose the little star next to the save sign to say that I completed it. So anyway, yeah, we are going to be painting my phone case to look like a Sheikah Slate. Also my Skyward Sword pre-order rewards arrived today and this was one of them. Um, my keys were already extremely full but I have such an urge to put this on Bo's collar. So plans for this project. I'm gonna use the case that I already own because one, I'm a cheap bitch and I don't want to buy another one, which also if I was just going to buy another case, then I might as well just buy a pre-designed Chica Slate one and I want to make it. So I'm going to use the case I already have. And two, which is probably the more important thing, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm just a tad, tad bit chaotic. I used to try and like edit out the chaos and make the videos really like chill, lay back, laid back. Ugh. But I don't have the energy for that these days, so <laughs> due to aforementioned chaoticness, I am clumsy. This means that I drop my phone. A lot. I mean a lot. You know those infomercial videos where the dumb white people are just dropping everything and spilling everything, getting barbecue. <laughs> so I'm getting sitting cereal there. and barbecue, barbecue sauce, on my, sauce on my titties. That is literally me, like that is my life. <laughs> so I need a phone case that is pretty hard wearing and can actually protect my phone from the multiple times it will be dropped onto hard surfaces and in the bath. This one hasn't actually gone through the washing machine yet though, so like, progress. And because I already have a very hard wearing case on my phone, I don't see the point in buying another one when I can just paint this one. I'm saying all of this in like present tense, but the truth is I'm actually filming this intro and the outro after making it. <laughs> because I have absolutely no impulse control. And although I had planned to do this project, I didn't plan when I was gonna do this project. I knew it would happen at some point in July. Um, but yeah, I didn't plan a specific date to actually paint it. So the day I got up and I was like, you know what? I feel like turning my phone into a Sheikah Slate today. So yeah, I just did it. I didn't wait to film an intro or anything. Um, I just filmed me doing it. So yeah, there's a little behind the scenes for you. So I am, why do I keep lifting my arms so much? Answer. Where's the armpits of a fool? That's what you think. Check out these bad boys. I'm going to use a combination of acrylic paints and Posca paint pens to make the, the design of the Sheikah Slate and then I'm going to use either Mod Podge or an acrylic spray, like acrylic lacquer spray thing to set it and make sure that it's not going to go anywhere. So speaking of the design, let's head over to the design table phase, whatever, um, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. So for this design, I actually just drew around the phone case that I was going to be using. Um, it fit in my project planner so I thought why not and it would give me a chance to practice at the correct scale so I would know how much room I actually had when it came to painting it on the final version on the actual phone case. I did look at references for Sheikah phone cases and the original Sheikah Slate and I used this to sort of inform my design but I did make a few changes just because it's what worked best 
for me. I also practiced using the Posca paint pens on this design so that I had a bit of a feel for them and a little bit of practice before I went and used them on the actual thing. Next to me I've just got the main three colours of acrylic paint that I'm going to use on the actual thing as well. Just for reference to help me as I am colouring all of this in. And I'm using my Hobbycraft brush pens for anything that's not Posca paint basically. I did add this banner at the top which I had seen on various different references that had um, like the original Sheikah Slate kind of has around the top edge but my phone case along the top and the bottom has a different kind of material and I didn't know how paint would react on there so I decided that I would leave those black and maybe do that design on the top part on the bit in between the main part and that top part. I didn't end up doing this I put it as optional on the design here and yeah. So when it came to prepping my phone case, I left it on my phone whilst I drew out the design. I am literally using a white watercolour pencil here because it worked really well on the back of my phone case. As you can see, my phone case actually has these horizontal lines going across it and they're, they're actually slight grooves and I like the texture of it so, and it was really helpful for drawing some of the lines, like particularly the dividers to keep those lines straight. So I didn't want to lose this. So I was a tad bit naughty and I didn't prime the case. I just painted directly onto it. And it's it's been fine, honestly. Like ever since I sealed it, because obviously I didn't do that initially. I say obviously, I'm gonna explain that later. Yeah, I painted directly onto it and after I sealed it, the paint didn't go anywhere. So it was absolutely fine. So I just went in and touched it up a little bit so it's nice and clear before going in with white paint. So this is kind of the only priming of the case that I did, I suppose, if you want to call it that. Basically, I knew that because I was painting directly onto a black case, that the colours wouldn't look so vibrant unless they had something underneath them that I could then paint on top of. So I just used white acrylic paint to paint over my design so that when I came in with the lighter colours later, they would be more vibrant and show up. And then it was on to actually painting. So I just used the dark brown in my set, neat, like I didn't make any changes to it because I knew it would look darker on the case anyway. And I just used a flat brush and those grooves that I was telling you about before were really helpful when trying to create those sharp straight lines. And so I painted in the direction of those just to make things smoother and easier. I'm actually a total newbie when it comes to painting anything at all let alone props and uh, weird materials. But I had a lot of fun doing this and it was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. So I highly recommend this. If you have a phone case that you don't like the design of, get some paints, get some Mod Pod and just go to town, mate. Like, go for it. I believe in you. And honestly, if I can do it, anyone can. So I have no excuse. <laughs> I did go in with a tiny, tiny detail brush when it came to things like trying to go around the circles on the bits that will be orange. I, I don't know what they're called. If anyone knows, let me know. Just to keep their shape as clean as I could. I actually found using the flat brush really easy and I used that for most of it, I believe. Like Even around the curved edges, as you can see, like I just angle it slightly differently to create a nice clean line. So I then went in and used the light brown that was on the table earlier 
to paint in the Sheikah symbol. And although in the palette it looked like the correct colour, by the time I put it on the case it didn't actually look the right colour. I think it was next to the darker brown. It just looked more... I don't know, it, it didn't look right. So I do go back and fix it. So I added a bit of yellow and white to that original colour, mixed it all together obviously, and painted that on and I preferred that so 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 much. So I used that and again I'm just painting that with the flat brush. It's nice and easy. Oh no. I do also go in with a more rounded brush. I did mess up a little bit here, like I do not know what happened. I don't think the white paint had dried properly, so when I put the orange on it just kind of mixed together and yeah, I, I made a bit of a mess. So I just cleaned that off, put white paint back down, let it dry completely this time, and I go over it later on. So I did use my yellow Posca paint pen at this point to do the dots inside of these because it was really small and I just knew I would have better control with the pen than the brush, which I know sounds weird but the pens are slightly bigger, I can hold them a little easier. So I used that to add the yellow dots. So gradually, bit by bit, as other parts dried, I just added in more and more of the details, like the shape of the eye. Yeah, it was at that point I realised as I went to paint it, that it was going to turn out darker because I'd forgotten to put the white paint on underneath it. So I tried to dab that off and then use the Posca white paint pen to get it back on and yeah, it wasn't, it, it wasn't really working but it was okay in the end. So I switched back whilst that was drying. <laughs> There's lots of going back and forth on this, I'm sorry. To do the yellow dots inside the triangles. So these are actually tiny, tiny triangles. So what I did was very lightly dab the yellow Posca paint pen on and then drag the colour out to create a very small triangle. <laughs> so yeah, then I just neatened up the edges and added some more colour. And then went back in with the detail brush to add those tiny dots and orange lines around the eye. This is really difficult, I'm not gonna lie. And it's a little shaky, but I don't mind. I think it looks fine. <laughs> I'm happy with it. So this is where I was deciding whether or not to paint the top in that orange design or just paint it straight brown, eh, straight brown. And I decided to just paint it that same light brown that the Sheikah symbol was made out of. And again, you can kind of see the difference here between how it looks when it's initially put on and then how it looks afterwards. This also shows you the difference between when it's painted onto a black background and when it's painted onto a white background. Like it really does affect the colour, I think. So, here's the final reveal. Thank you.
Never work with collies or tabbies. <laughs> yeah. Here is my finished Chic Slate phone case. I am so, so happy with the result. It just makes me really happy to look at. <laughs> I know this is incredibly nerdy and, uh, and not my usual content, but I really wanted to create this. I thought the month I was doing a Legend of Zelda theme would be perfect. Also, this is really easy to do. Like, if you are bored of your phone case, like, I didn't take the full shots, but this was just a black phone case. Literally just used acrylic paint. At the beginning of this video, I said that I was gonna set this with my pod or, or an acrylic lacquer. Um, I didn't do that initially. I knew I would need to, but... <laughs> Uh, I was too excited and I painted it and then went, oh, I've got nothing to seal it with. So I asked my local cosplay community and they were the ones who suggested Mod Podge or the lacquer. I bought both, but I actually just used the Mod Podge on this one because it, although like there's a slight shine now, because um, it's got a ring light directly on it, it's got much more of a matte finish. And that's what I wanted because the Sheikah Slate, it doesn't, in the game, it doesn't look shiny. It, it looks matte. It's like organic material. So I wanted to go with that. And yeah, this was actually a dream to paint. The only time I ran into a problem was remaking this lighter brown colour. That was a bit of a pain in the ass. After I painted it initially, I was like, oh yeah, this is the perfect colour. I then had to come along and remix it. Um, when all of the paint started peeling off because I used my phone in the bath and it all came off before I had set it. So that was when I repainted it, exactly the same process that I showed you earlier. And then I just literally paintbrush, Mod Podge, let it dry. It hasn't affected the flexibility of the case at all. Um, it, and the case still works really well because I have dropped my phone. <laughs> since painting it and even the paint like is it's staying there thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you like this kind of content give it a like and i will make some more i mean i'll probably make more anyway but if you like it let me know uh and if you're new here hit that subscribe button so we can hang out some more i'll see you guys in the next video bye